Good morning. Today I'm going to review a gas mask. Now, uh, if some of you don't know this, I actually do collect them. So today I'm going to review my British S10 gas mask. Now let's get out the bag. So this is the S10 gas mask. It was actually used by the military I think until, uh, well, the British military until 2010, maybe. The newer gas mask haven't been able to afford it because it, you know, costs a lot of money, and the military don't really like the idea of civilians buying the more modern technology. So as you can see, like, it's a really good mask. Now, unfortunately, it's got this drinking straw here, which I haven't been able to work because I haven't got the canister or the tube. So as you can see, like, it's a good sturdy mask, like a. Uh, as well, like it comes with this little keyring here with some uh, tag information, and I have no idea what the fuck that is. So uh, let me just put it on. So this is what it actually looks like when you've got it on. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a hole here. This is where you attach the filter, so hold on. So as you can see now, actually I'm fully fitted with the gas mask on. Now, uh, it's actually a really good fit because you can't actually tell this, but actually it's airtight right now. The only source of air I've got is here. Now, how you prove a gas mask is airtight is basically you put your hand on the filter hole like this, and uh, if you can't breathe, it's airtight. So luckily this gas mask is dead easy to use. So basically uh, any gas mask collector definitely should get this mask because apart from it, you know, being the guest best gas mask in the world actually is a very good mask and as well it actually can fit NATO filters aka the modern filters so you know if there's any uh, nuclear strike biological attack or chemical attack you're ready plus the one I got came with an extra filter so you know once the bombs drop I'm safe so not honesty the fuck are you Fuck. 